Okay, so we have a Technicolor TG789VN version 3. And on this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to set up port forwarding. You do not need to go near any DMZ configuration to do port forwarding. In this tutorial, we have a WD MyCloud NAS server. It's a 4 terabyte drive and that has been activated um, for the internet access so once you have that done depending on what you want to configure but you have to make sure that if you're using something like a NAS server that it has to be activated so it can be accessed over the internet so assuming that you've done that the next thing will be to log in to your Technicolor router to do the configuration so we go into advanced options and then we log in to the router so once you're inside the router, what you need to do is go into the toolbox and then go into game and application sharing. Now at the moment you can see that we don't have a WD MyCloud in that list. So what we need to do first and foremost is to create an application for the, uh, for the MyCloud, for the WD Cloud. So we go down to here to create a new game or application and we give it a name so we have a WD cloud so I'm going to call this WD cloud so the next thing you do is you go to the manual entry of port maps and then you click next so what you want to do here is assign the actual port addresses uh, for access so I would leave that to any because that will be TCP or UDP. Uh, both of them will be set up, so I would leave that as, as normal. In here, it's asking for what's the external port you're going to use. Now, any port that's over 1024, is a, it can be a beast port. Uh, ideally, it's not an industry allocated port in a lot of cases anything under 1024 like port 80 port 21 port 25 they're in industry standards and they're kind of fixed but anything over 1024 you can actually use now for a lot of people doing the configurations like this they would use something like like 8080 or 8086 or 8087 or 8083 similar ports like that so in this instant what we're going to use is 8087 and it's only gonna it's only one port you're gonna be using so you only need 8087 to 8087 because it's one port now it's gonna be asking the destination port on the internal side now some NAS servers have specific ports like the Buffalo NAS server would have 9000 and you have to use that port where the WD cloud the WD my cloud is port 80 will do the job that's HTTP so if you put in port 80 there that's fine and that's all you need to do on that configuration there and you just add that to the list okay so once that's added in so we have protocol TCP and UDP on the external port 8087 and the internal port where it's going to port 80 then what we need to do is to assign a game or application so we need to assign that to a device that's on your network now because the WD cloud is actually on my network what we'll do is we'll assign it now so we come down here and it's looking for the, the name of the device that we just created, which is WWD Cloud. So that's the device that we just created there in the last screen. And this one here is looking for the actual device on the network. So the actual device on the network, the internal network, is WD My Cloud. So the external network will be the name of the device that you're given. WD cloud and the internal name would be the device on the network you want to point to when you've done that you click apply and it just takes a, a few seconds to have a think about that okay so that's done so what we have here is the 
WD Cloud external name to the internal name and you have TCP and UDP external port uh, to the internal port so that's all you need to do for port forwarding for this router and that's how you configure the Technicolor TG789VN version 3 router for port forwarding.